Hey guys, Elliot here. Today we're going to focus on uh, creating long and short positions um, through decentralized lending protocols. So this is kind of a more advanced topic, I would say. Uh, we're going to try and cover this in full today. It's a little bit complicated. Um, but so we're going to go ahead and start and assume that there is a protocol that can lend out uh, different assets. And so since we're in DeFi, we're going to deal with um, cryptocurrency uh, assets in particular. And so we're going to go ahead and say that this DeFi protocol, this is what I just drew, protocol, um, allows you to lend different uh, assets. So let's say one asset you could borrow in is Link. Uh, another is Ethereum. Another is BTC. And finally, XRP. Um, and so each of these, we're going to go ahead and just say that just basic level that you could do uh, lend on any of these at 2% um, APY. So that means if you take a 10, uh, let's do a 100 link loan um, at the end of the year, one year later, you're going to owe 102 link. Um, so this protocol that we just drew uh, can lend Link, Ethereum, Bitcoin, XRP, all of which at 2% APY, annual percent yield. Um, so if you were to end up borrowing 100 Link, for example, at the end of the year, you would owe 102 Link. So now let's imagine a scenario where I currently own, um, we're going to just go ahead and use Bitcoin. And so I, I own one Bitcoin and I think that if I was going to graph the price of Bitcoin over the next year, right now it's at about uh, $10,000 um, and it could either go down to, let's say this is a log scale, so 2.5K or it could go all the way up here to 100,000 at the end of the year. Now. This axis right here is dollars. Uh, this axis here is time. And so if I'm thinking about it in this way, today is right here, and today plus one year is over here. And so I think, or maybe I, I don't know what I think yet, but let's go ahead and, and draw out two of these, these scenarios. So one scenario starts here at 10K, goes down a little bit, but then at the end of the year, it gets up to this 100K level. And then this other example is maybe it goes up again, goes down again, goes up again, but at the end of the day, it ends over here at this um, 2.5K level. So this price movement, right, is, is going to happen regardless of, of what we're doing. And so let's say that I'm more on this bullish scenario, bullish implying that it's going to go up. So I think uh, one year from today... Uh, Bitcoin is going to be worth $100,000 per Bitcoin. So that's what I think. So I'm going to put, and so now I'm thinking about how do I leverage my money to make more money on this? And so what I can go ahead and do is I can uh, put my Bitcoin into uh, this lending protocol that we kind of described up here. And um, use it as collateral. So this means that I can put my one Bitcoin as collateral and then use this collateral to generate a loan. Sorry, that was a little messy. I'll rewrite that. Loan. And so how does this work? So what happens is I submit my one Bitcoin. And from here, I can take out a loan with a loan to value ratio. So loan to value. And this we're going to say is LTV of up to 70%. So this means if one Bitcoin equals $10,000, 
I can take out a loan of up to $7,000 to match this loan to value ratio. And so let's talk about what happens here if I do this. Um, so now I have the, so now I, I still own this one Bitcoin, but I also have $7,000 that I could, I could essentially loan out. Now, the one thing to call out is since this is collateral, if the price of BTC goes down and I have $7,000 lended, this makes my loan to value ratio increase above 70%, which implies that I would be liquidated. And that means that I keep the, the loan amount right here. So I keep 7,000, but the protocol takes my one Bitcoin to pay for it. So that's kind of complicated. But essentially, your Bitcoin is your collateral, and you would lend off of that. Um, and if your if the if your loan to value ratio gets too high, you get liquidated. This is very similar to uh, traditional lending, where you, where you have collateralized. The one key difference here is that Bitcoin, we always have a price for it. We can use a price oracle, and um, always know if our loan is above or below that loan to value threshold. So now, jumping back to our protocol. Uh, let's say that I think, not only do I think that Bitcoin is going to go up in price, but I also think Chainlink is going to increase in price. So what I can do is I can, like we said earlier, um, I use my Bitcoin as collateral. And I take out a loan, and I'm going to take it out a lot lower than this 70% loan to value ratio so that I don't have to, so that I never have to worry about liquidating if the price of Bitcoin changes. But I'm going to take out a loan on Chainlink to generate something that I'm going to call a long position. So, what does this mean? Well, let's graph it out. If I take out a loan of 100 chain link, and let's say that the price of chain link right now, and so we're gonna write dollar sign link, and this is, let's say it's $10. And I think the price, and once again, this is our time axis, and this is our dollar axis, and I think the price of chain link is going to go up to $20 um, in a year. So that means that if I take out a loan of 100 chain link, I take out a loan of 100 chain link. Immediately, I convert that chain link into $1,000. So now, no, that's not what I do. So if I want to create a long position on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out $1,000, right? Remember, we have our 2% interest. And so at the end of the year, I'm going to owe $1,020. Now, if I immediately take that $1,000, and I turn it into Chainlink, and since Chainlink is $10 right now, this is equal to um, 100 Chainlink. Now, and at the end of the year, my price does actually go up to that $20, that $20 level. At the end of the year, I can sell my 100 Chainlink for $2,000. Now I pay back my loan, right? So subtract 1,020, and that means that I profit nine hundred 
and $80 from this loan. So essentially, I just created a long position where if the price goes up, um, I take out some cash, buy link with it, and if the price goes up, I make money. It's pretty straightforward. Now, the other example would be a short position. So let's draw that out. So once again, same axes, right? This is time, this is the dollar price of Chainlink, and right now we're at $10, and I think that at the end of the year, it's gonna go to $5. So, maybe, so let's graph this out. Maybe it goes up over here to 21st, and then it comes down and goes up a little, and then at the end of the year, it ends here at $10 or $5. So if I wanted to create a position that I could make money if I bet on that, what I would do is I would take out a loan. Sorry, let me use a different color. Loan of, in this case, I'm actually going to take out the loan in the currency, chain link. And I took out 100. So essentially, I took out a $1,000 loan, but I took it out in chain link. I'm then immediately going to sell that for $1,000 and I'm gonna wait till we get to this time point of one year. At that time point, I then, and assuming that I was correct in the price going down, I'm then going to create, I'm then going to take my $1,000 and I need to repay, so remember we have our, we, we took out a chain link loan, so we took out 100, link and don't forget our 2% interest. And so then that means that I owe at the end of the year 102 link. So I get to the end of the year, I have my $1000 in my pocket because I immediately took my chain link and put it into dollars and so I take that $1000 and I repurchase it $5 per link, which means that I can buy 200 chain link. And then I repay my loan, so I subtract 102, which leaves me with 98 chain link because I shorted this situation. So now I can convert this back into dollars. Um, I could leave it in this asset. I could do whatever I want, but at the end of the day, this was creating a short position. Um, where if the price goes down, I make money versus this other situation where I was creating a long position where if it goes up, I make additional money. So this is just a high level overview of what you can expect um, and how you could apply these strategies to your day-to-day -day life. Thanks for tuning in.